Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how you loop through a list of objects or actually an array of objects because it's JavaScript so we don't have lists we only have arrays and I already made this uh, array of uh, objects with persons inside so we have the array and we have a object inside uh, with a name a age and the pet that they own. So to loop through these uh, we want to make a for loop so we say for and then we want to say that we want a variable and we call it person and this variable comes from when we loop through the persons um, list or array so I say in persons so what this will do is that it loops through every person inside our person's um, array and what we get out is the index of the person that it loops through. So if we want to display um, just this person, let's uh, just display the index, we say console.log and we say person. And if I hit save, we can see inside our browser that it now in the console it writes 0, 1, 2, 3 because we have 0, 1, 2, 3 in our array. But if we want to display the actual person, we need to take this persons, we can just say persons, and then we want to get the index of the current person that it's been looping through so we say person so now we actually say every time it loops through we have this person and we want to take the index of our person's array actually just to make it a bit more simple we will just call this index and index because then it, it makes more sense but if we look at this now in the browser, we should see that we get all, instead of uh, the index, we should get all the objects instead. But then again, what if we just want to get the age of every person? Then we will go back to the code and we will, in the end of this uh, code, we will say get the age. And let's save it and as you can see we get all the ages instead. So just for fun uh, let's try to get it in the browser and I will list the the both names, age and pet for every object that we have. So if we go back to the code we can in our body, this is just a very simple HTML page with a script tag inside. Um, we can say we have a div and this will have an ID and let's call it persons and then down here we'll get some more space and then first we want to get a variable that have this div inside it so the way we will do it is that we say variable and let's call it person persons div and that should be equal to document and find elements no what it's called it's called get element by id and this element is the name of the id so it's persons and just a quick way to do it is that we say uh, inside our persons div we want to add some inner HTML and we want to add it to what's already inside because we are inside a loop. So when we say a plus and equal sign, we will add it to what's already inside of the, uh, the container uh, or the div. So now we can actually just say what we want inside and what we want is that we have a h1 tag and let's close it again and inside this h1 tag we want to 
concatenate our variable, our person's variable. So if we just copy and paste all this, we could say that we want the name inside here. And then we could also say that the name is this. So we actually can see name and then John, for example. So this code should list all the names that we have inside our person's array. Oops. And we just have to copy and paste it inside the actual loop. Else it would only display the last person. So like this. And as you can see, we get all the names on the website. But then again, just for fun, let's try to add the age and pet also. That should be very simple. We can just copy and paste this line. And let's say it should be a paragraph instead of a h1. And also the pet. And then inside here, we have to say that this is the age and this is the pet. And again, here we have to say the age and pet. And then just a last thing, just to separate them a bit better, we can make a HR tag, which just makes a, a line. But we can see that right here. So now we have the name, we have age, and we have what pet they have. So that's how you display a object inside an array in JavaScript.